in recording this video because I'm about to transfer my last domain name from GoDaddy to Namecheap. Um, I have several domain names, uh, including my name, alanpeterson.com, which I use for my author website, obviously. And um, I've been I've used GoDaddy for a long time. I used to actually uh, sell domains <laughs> years ago. And so at one time I had hundreds of domain names. Now I'm down to about 10. But um, GoDaddy used to be fine for domain names. I would never host with uh, GoDaddy, uh, but their domain names are fine. However, the last few years, um, the price keeps going up. And it's kind of annoying. The GoDaddy website is a bit annoying because they're always upselling you a million, trying to upsell you a million things. All you want to do is renew your domain name. So I started to switch over to Namecheap a couple of years ago, and I'm down to my last domain on GoDaddy. And now switching over to Namecheap is even makes more sense for me now uh, for three reasons. Um, it's cheaper, you know. Uh, why not save a few bucks? Um, I also really like um, that their interface is clutter-free, unlike GoDaddy, which, you know, if you ever gone to GoDaddy, you're just trying to register a domain name, and they're upselling you everything. It takes like 10 minutes to check out. You don't get that with Namecheap. And now what's really cool is uh, you get free Whois Guard forever. And basically the Whois, you know, if you're familiar with the domain names, the Whois is uh, you have to have your address. Uh, when, you, when you register a domain name, you have to enter your address, and that has to go on the public uh, Whois uh, database, which is available to anybody, including spammers and spam bots and all these other nefarious uh, things out there. Uh, to get your domain, uh, to get you know, so they can have your address information, they can have your email address. Uh, for me, the you know, I, ha I have a PO box, so I don't really care, but the email address kind of bothers me because then you know you get spammed. So, who is this protection? Basically, um, your the registrar uses their own uh, address as your registration address, so they hide your, your personal address. And uh, usually this is a, a feature where they charge, um, uh, GoDaddy charges between eight and $15 for that. Uh, Namecheap used to charge as well, but now it's free forever. So that's a, that's a nice extra feature that's gonna save you at least $8 a year, plus you'll save at least uh, two, three, maybe even $4 per domain name. So that's pretty nice savings right there. And of course, they also have good support. Um, they have SSL discounts if your if your if your host isn't providing you with uh, you know the HTTPS versus HTTP on your domain name, SSL discounts. Uh, uh, you can get those really good deals through Namecheap as well, and those are very important now because Google is uh, going to start issuing warnings if a site isn't secure. So anyway, those are just some of the reasons why I'm switching everything over to Namecheap. And I thought that they would be uh, that I would walk you through this process if you're not sure how to transfer a domain from GoDaddy to Namecheap, and this would apply to to anybody really. I mean, to any other registrar. So here's my last domain on GoDaddy. It's is alanpeterson.com. So from the Namecheap uh, website, you just go to transfer, and then you enter the domain name that you want to transfer to Namecheap in here. Click transfer. If you're doing more than one, you can do the bulk options. I'm just doing one. And as you can see here, it'll tell you that it is available. There is uh, that it is eligible for transfer. There are certain rules that the who that the who is organization, the overseer of domain names, uh, of all domain names, um, puts on when you can transfer. I don't remember the specifics. I think it's within 30 or 60 days. But anyway, so it'll let you know if it's eligible or not, and it is. And uh, so it shows your current register right here. As you can see, it's GoDaddy. And then uh, you need to, I need to go up and unlock it. I always have my domains locked. So since I'm transferring, I'm gonna go unlock it. It's very simple. Uh, so you just go into your uh, domain manager. And from there, I'll be able to unlock this uh, domain uh, from GoDaddy. It's always good to lock your domain because that way somebody can't steal it from you. And believe me, that stuff happens a lot. <laughs> okay, so here are my domain settings. And so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it. So as you can see here, it says uh, domain lock on. So I click on edit, unlock it, 
and now as you can see the main lock is off. Uh, this takes a few minutes uh, to do, uh, so we have to wait for that to be official before I can continue with the uh, transfer process. It doesn't take very long for the uh, for the domain to get unlocked. It just takes a few, a couple minutes if that. But if you want to go about with your business, they'll send you an email when it's done. So as you can see, GoDaddy sent me an email that it's been unlocked. And if I go to GoDaddy's domain manager page, now you'll see that the domain lock is off. Okay, so now I can go back to Namecheap and click that I understand that it needs to be unlocked. And then uh, I am also going to need now an authorization code, which will allow me to transfer the domain name over. And the way I get that is I have to go back to GoDaddy. And as you can see right here, right underneath the additional settings, you'll see transfer domain to another uh, GoDaddy account or transfer domain away from GoDaddy. So obviously that's what I am doing here. So I'm going to click transfer domain away from GoDaddy. And it's got a little information here of what, you, you know, they're trying to keep you uh, to do it. But I want to go ahead and uh, transfer this. So I, I leave the stuff blank. It's none of their business why I'm transferring. Uh, so we're sorry you're moving your domain. And it's got the information there. So if you go to return to domain list, it'll show that uh, the transfer is now pending. And um, then you'll need to check your email address because that is where you'll be receiving the the, uh, the authorization code. Again, the process is very fast, um, less than a minute. It took less than a minute to get this email with my authorization code. So all I need to do now is just copy this authorization code from the email that I received from GoDaddy, go to Namecheap, enter that authorization code here. And here is what the, the charge, it charged me $9.69 to transfer the name to Namecheap which is a savings of about uh, four or five dollars, what it would cost me to renew with GoDaddy. Now, um, obviously Namecheap does it a little, gives you a little discount to transfer over, but the domains, even if, it's, if you're just renewing, it's still gonna be cheaper than what GoDaddy charges to renew. So, uh, so anyway, uh, go ahead and add that to the uh, cart. And uh, so we'll get some disclaimers here. Uh, we'll go ahead and click view cart. This is just to get the process going. And so I'm gonna go ahead, you can double check here everything that you, what you're doing, you're renewing. Uh, you got the, the who is guard for free forever, as you can see. Uh, you can do multiple years. Oh, I guess for the transfer, you can only do one year. So uh, depending on the domain name, I usually go for more. This is alanfusion.com. I've had this domain since, since the year 2000. I've had it for 18 years. So usually I just do renew it for five to 10 years because I know I'm gonna keep it and then it's cheaper that way too. But anyway, since I'm transferring, I only get to do it for one year. So, and you can sometimes have promo codes as well, but this is just 10 bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit confirm the order. If you don't have an account already with them, you're gonna to have to uh, create one and enter your uh, credit card information. I already have an account, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go through that process. With uh, Namecheap, it's very easy. Once I log in, they already have all my payment information. So I just click continue. And then you get another chance to review everything. I'll go ahead and uh, pay now. And that's it. So the, here's the order number, uh, data that's been placed. And now I just need to wait for the uh, transfer uh, period uh, to uh, happen. Um, it can take a couple days and um, Namecheap will email when it's uh, all said and done and ready to go. But that's it really for the transferring process. So if you go to your dashboard with Namecheap, it'll show recent activity. As you can see here is alanpetition.com and it'll state that transfer will begin shortly. The domain is still with another registrar. And you can come back here if you want and hit the refresh status uh, to keep checking. Um, I don't worry about it. I just know it's, I already know that the process is already happening behind the scenes. Once it's done, I will receive an email from Name, Namecheap to confirm that the transfer is completed. I will also receive an email from GoDaddy letting me know the same thing. 
So there's no need to come back here and check. Uh, once I get the emails confirming the, tra the transfer, I do come back to Namecheap and just double check to make sure that it's been added to my domain list and everything uh, was transferred over uh, correctly. Once something has transferred over, then it'll be it'll look like this. And you'll know it's good. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Just uh, wanted to do this video to show you how easy it is to transfer a domain from GoDaddy to Namecheap. And uh, the, if you don't use Namecheap, you're using another registrar, uh, the process is the same and it's just as easy and simple. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video.